everybody how are you how are you happy friday what's going on y'all what is going on i'm gonna tell y'all what's going on you guys i went to kroger's to get the freaking bacon i'm on my way back now they had 99 cents oh my god i didn't record i was on the phone with my daughter because i was using their wi-fi and my daughter i was video i was on video call with my with both of my daughters i'm so sorry y'all oh this angle is so ugly y'all can see all up in there but anyway so i was watching um vs's video and um like watching her replay or whatever and so i didn't know that she was gonna be talking about me or any situation involving me or anything like that i went to i watched the part of the replay and i didn't even really finish it because um like I said, my daughter called, and so I was on the phone with them the rest of the time throughout the store. I just went and got all of the 99 cent stuff, so I will show y'all what all is 99 cent today, what is all cheap, cheap today, so today and tomorrow for you to go get it. But look, so I just want to say real quick, this doesn't need to be no big, long, uh, drawn-out video. I'm just going to say this because I've said it multiple times. Um, but obviously VS ain't a person who engages in my channel and stuff like that or you know so I'm sure that she probably has not heard it before but you know VS is the second person that made a comment about me having a um, what she said like my black card somebody else said my hood pass let me tell you something there's nobody on YouTube that can solidify my ethnicity or who I am as a person, okay? Nobody. I have came, I came on YouTube. I never tried to act like nobody more than who I am. The only reason why I discussed my race in the first place is because of comments and people uh, voicing that they had questions or issues with my race. Um, you know, there's multiple people, including content creators, um, that have questioned my race. That's the only reason, the only reason why I speak about it. I have never had any problems in real life as far as my race goes as far as not being accepted by black people. Let me just say that. Because I've been treated more different by white people than not being accepted by black people. Okay? I grew up on the black side of my family. My father is black. My granny raised me up until up right up into my teenage years. Um, that's neither here nor there. You know, my mother, her family pretty much disowned her and her kids. I've been called niggers by white people and all types of shit. So I fully understand what it's like to be treated bad as a black person. With my skin color the way it is. Okay. Okay. There is no pick one or the other because I'm both. I'm both. My mother is white and my daddy is black. And ain't neither one trumping each other as far as I'm concerned because they both made me and here I am. My daddy ain't no more of a king than my mom is a queen. Okay. Now, as far as people taking up for me and I'm not and I didn't take VS's video as bashing me or anything like that but there's some confusion as to the reasoning why people are speaking about the comment that was made about me my feelings ain't hurt at all at all as far as me having a moment the other day it had nothing to do with nobody calling me nothing it has something to do with what I got going on in real fucking life. But like I, but unless you engage in my channel, you wouldn't know that. So that's okay. 
but that's why I'm making this so that I can clear it up. I don't give a fuck about Shelly or what she thinks about me or what she said about me. My only issue was with the people on the panel that acted as if they were cool with me but allowing the conversation to go on. My issue was with them. I give no fucks about what was said, who said it, or any of that because I don't know Shelly, I gives no fucks. Like VS said, I've been called all types of shit. Sean Bradley said he said all types of shit. You're correct, you are right. It did not move me and you know why? Because I gave no fucks about the people who said it. And if Shelly was on her platform by herself and would have said that shit, I would have gave no fucks. I would have gave no fucks. It wouldn't even be even be mentioned at all. My issue was the reaction of the people who claimed to be cool with me. That's where my issue was. As far as other people speaking on it, I appreciate them speaking on it. Because whether if it's a darker skinned woman, whether if it's a biracial woman, whether if it's a white woman, whoever the fuck it is, nobody deserves to be treated bad. Because solely based on their skin color. Shelly made those comments about me only because I agreed with the best that I got. Her mouth, out of her mouth, not mine. So I just want to be clear that I don't give a fuck about being called any name. I have came on here plenty of times and said I talk shit like a lot of other people. I own that. I came on YouTube. I made a choice to come on YouTube and start talking about shit that I see going on on YouTube. So if somebody comes for me, they come for me because I chose to come on here and speak about this shit. So I can take whatever said about me. Say whatever. A pair of lips will fucking say any fucking thing. And that's okay with me. My issue is the fake shit. And people act like they, they one way with you and they really another way. All for a come up. All for a click and a view. That was my only issue. It don't have shit to do with the wet dog. I know I don't smell like no wet dog. I know what my story is. And actually, I've told my story a few times. And I just gave you a little snippet of it again. So, you're wrong, BS. You're wrong. And that's okay. Because if you don't watch me, you wouldn't know. So, I don't need anybody to... I don't need to prove anything to anybody to allow somebody on YouTube to give me my black card because I already earned that. And I earned my white one because you know what? What You know what's something about me in real life? In my real life, I can play both. I can be both when I need to be. Because in this world, sometimes you just got to adapt to your surroundings. And that's what I've learned. So when somebody speaks about my skin color or questions who I am or, or what, you know, what color my parents are, it says something about them. It says nothing about how I feel about myself. I know who I am. I am. I've been on this world a long, in this world a long time. I've always been this color and ain't no bitch on YouTube going to take my blackness, my whiteness, anything. I am who I am. I've come on here honest, true, bare, and plain. Take it or leave it. It's all good with me.